Man, this is gonna be hard. Today we're doing ultra wide street photography. Right here. Noise, noise, and let's get here. One more cyclist. I'm gonna use this thing to rest the camera just because it's quite a slow shutter. I think one of a five. I'm at F22. Ultra wide street photography. It's probably one of the hardest. You can't really fall back on bokeh. You're gonna need just to have really good composition because everything's pretty much two dimensional. I'm kind of in traffic here. <laughs> Yeah, we're using the camera on 17 to 28. I'm only keeping it at 17 mil. All right, this is pretty cool. Look at that. How nice. I mean, the architecture here is just mind blowing. I'm about through here. Plenty of depth here. Ooh. Mate, I love this place. If you're a photographer in London and you haven't been here, you should come here. Got some nice bamboo, that's a nice contrast. I guess we just shoot up. Oh, that's cool. I guess there's no rules here. The rules here can just be broken. Are they doing construction? This used to be like, a, like an open court. I was trying to get that CCTV. This is cool. Some nice leading lines. Got the building at the end. Hopefully this green here adds a nice bit of foreground. We'll see. Maybe let's aim up a little bit so we see more of the building. Ah, oh, do you see what I see? Depth. That's like the base shot right there. Now let's get a bit lower. And now let's actually get one shot of the stairs by himself. Oh, they actually got a pretty far. Nice. Stopped here because we have the foreground of this mezzanine level. That kind of draws our eye into, into the actual tunnel. Make sure the tunnel is in our horizon. And if you go in, then we have a different type of shot here where the foreground is actually these lights up here, as well as the the yellow stripes on the floor. So now this is a different type of shot here because now we have these car stops as the foreground. And then the tunnel has the natural leading lines to it. You can do that a bit closer. We get a nice reflection from the pillar as well. And now the final shot, we're actually inside here. And the only foreground is the ceiling and the floor. Just like that. And then we can take the same shot, but lower down. So you see, like with this one location, you can get multiple different compositions. Let's try and get this tree in the foreground. And obviously we've got the um, Bishop's Gate building. 21 Bishop's Gate. Oh, look at this corner. This is really where the lens shines, like in corners like these. Do you know what though? We have a nice um, contrast here between brick and steel. Uh, yeah, we kind of get it there. That's nice. I can smell food, you know, making me hungry. Um, like this curve right there, come on, that is sick. You can make like a little triangle. You can see this triangle here. Oh my God, look at that. Architecture overload. And this building here kind of like overlaps the other ones, kind of cool. Some symmetry. Pretty cool. Yeah, this is a nice area. <laughs> What about these plants in the foreground? This is really nice. Looks like a Star Wars spaceship. I don't know if anybody sees that too, or is it just me? And then we have, um, let me get it. This is so sick, come on. I mean, I am super ultra wide, so I might as well just get really close, right? Like right here. 
Let's just make this the whole subject. It's actually pretty cool. It's like a coliseum. Let's use these bench things as foreground. Some of the shots. I need to actually pick a subject. So let's let's pick that greenhouse thing up there. And if we pick this location here, this should look pretty cool. Yeah, it looks decent. Oh, look at that. Nice. Okay, let's try to do the same thing. That's our foreground. That's our subject. I got this greenery. And then also the um, actual building itself. It's got the sky. And also I got these yellow umbrellas. This is like a nice little um, frame here of the buildings. That kind of bring us into that Bishop's Gate building. We're coming up to where I used to work. That building is actually a pub. Really, really nice place. If you guys are ever in London, you should definitely go. We'll, we'll get closer to it. But just a heads up. Don't take me to bed. Don't take me to No, no, I'm not taking pictures, no. <laughs> a natural frame from these trees up here. And I, that kind of draws our eye to the buildings. I keep seeing skaters and I'm and that kind of reminds me of when I used to go out skating. One thing that might be cool would be like a skating POV video. Like me on a skateboard with a camera and also taking photos. Might be a bit of a challenge, but let me know in the comments below if you want to see that kind of stuff. And when you're down there, if you're liking the video so far, make sure to leave it a like. Thank you. Uh, thing is, if I get too low, you can't see the other road. All of the glazing here is actually green, which is uh, kind of interesting. Let's try and get um, this building's leading lines. Something that's kind of cool. I want to get in the centre, but I don't want to get run over by a car, so let's hurry up. I mean, look at this. Look how nice the reflection of this building looks on that building. I think it's so cool. Bang. Construction site. I'm going to have to use money focus here. So, ooh. Never been here. Where am I? Oh, reflection. Oh, cool. Nice, I got the car. Let's try that again, but with the um, London taxi. And we're by Bishop's Gate. I had to stop because this shot right here is just so sick. Right there. I love the uh, the heritage building right in the middle. Oh, here we go. Gherkin. First Gherkin shot of the day. Woo! I, I kind of want to do a um, low shutter one. Oh, nice. I got it. <laughs> I got it just before the bus stop. I want to get another one though. Yeah, three, two, one. Oh my god, these are sick. Yes, this is more of a horizontal photo right there. Check this area out. Like, what even is this? I don't even know, but. The piece of resistance. I mean, looking up is one thing, but trying to make the frame interesting is another thing. If I look through here, we have the building in the background peaking, and we got the uh, construction vehicle in the foreground. It kind of tells a story, you know, there's stuff happening, there's stuff being built, and there's also stuff that has already been built. Le King. And then we can use the fence as a foreground element. There you go. All right, let's try and get a nice wide, such a nice egg-shaped building. 
and we've got some trees. I think this building is quite cool because all of the uh, services, the building services, they're all on the outside. And the reason they did that is so that the inside of it can be very clean. They are moving, so maybe I can do a very slow shutter. One second. Oh, I did get it. Nice. I think it needs to be a bit slower though. Okay. I've got the shot though. That's what it matters. Wow, that is sick. Look at that symmetry. Mm. Symmetry. Sky Garden. All right, guys, I think we're done for today. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you leave the video a like. It really helps me out. And if you want to see more, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what kind of lenses you want me to try out, conditions you want me to try out. Yeah, any suggestions you have. Till then, I'll see you guys in the next video.